Over here in the upper right, currently the best StarCraft II Terran in the world. He is. Acer Innovation. And over here in the bottom left, our Protoss player with a very unique and characteristic play style. He is. CJ Antus Hero. So. I'm pretty excited to see if Hero stays on his normal play because with innovation in Terran vs. Protoss, the guy can do pretty much anything. Like, he'll go for the big macro play, he'll go for SCV pulls, he'll go for like five racks before the third command. Uh, he just he has a lot of range, and a lot of it's based off what he scouts as well. So, <laughs> kind of a reactive guy. For a second, I was going wow. to check with the APM. <laughs> one, guy, one guy is the classic Terran vs. Protoss APM. <laughs> well, that was actually innovation there, man. Yeah. The, yeah, the low, low uh, APM there. Oh, wait, I thought that was innovation with the high APM. Am I? No, no, it was innovation oh. with the low APM. Oh, no way. And uh, must have been cleaning his glasses or something. <laughs> I don't know. Well, it's so funny because I've heard people talk about this before, but like, I've I, I've had a few uh, fans we met overseas that watch the show, and they say, "Why don't they put the AP on all the time at the start of the game?" And it's like well, because it looks most silly. Of the, it, yeah. Because it doesn't matter how fast they're actually playing at the start, because there's actually that's just only so many things you could do. But there, that's actually a funny shot we got to see one guy. Innovation's like, well, obviously, I'm not mm -hmm. going to waste my energy spamming. Early <laughs> <on>. <laughs> you know, it's it's more of a warm up period than anything else. Just get your fingers well, warmed up for some people in the that, rhythm. That repetition. Helps a lot. You'll even see people that spam out certain keys for certain yeah. units. Uh, it's, I would uh, say the vast that, majority that, of the pro gamers do that. The vast majority of StarCraft pros. We also see the box spamming as yeah. well. Yeah. Anything to be moving quick. And then, you know, when you're at a tournament and you're nervous and you're doing the box spamming and everybody's watching, then you somehow accidentally hit S while you grabbed all the workers. Oh, God, yeah. yeah <laughs> you're like, oh, God damn it. All right, hold on. <laughs> Oh my! Has that actually happened to you personally? Because that's happened yes. to me when I'm in an event. Absolutely. I'm like trying Everyone's to look. I'm trying me. to look like really fast. Like I'm uh. trying to look really badass, which like doesn't matter because I have to do is actually win, and that <laughs> would make me like look badass in of itself. But I'm spamming. Mm -hmm. And then I'm like, oh no, crap! They, like my ears turn red, and the <laughs> hair on the back of my neck no. stands up, and I no. kind of slouch in my seat a bit more, <laughs> get some tears in my eyes because I already know I'm going to lose. <laughs> you already know everybody's thinking about that, yeah. or at least you are. Yeah. <laughs> Then you proceed to go on there and you lose your scout right away. <laughs> you no know, intel. You're like, this is just a disaster. Yeah. Like, Why did I even show up? Why did I practice <laughs> Why all year am I for here? This? How much? How often do I play this game? I thought yeah. I'm supposed to be good by now. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so we got the quick expansion here for innovation. Uh, not only are they uh, in cross spots where they're far away, but it's pretty hard to make a uh, proper straight line down there mm. uh, to get to them. So they're going to be able to do a lot of heavy econ play. Yeah, and uh, you know what? This is right now. Hero's playing a little bit different than what he's shown us recently. A little bit slower on that second gas. Uh, a little bit more mineral focus. So, I do wonder what he's going to be going for here, because you know I feel like when you're playing against innovation, and this is why I think you see innovation. Uh, even though we call him the best player in the world, a lot of times he does lose. It's because people pull out crazy stuff. Yeah, well, the best strats you got, yeah. you're going to use against somebody like this. And uh, we did actually he, see... Does he have a probe, actually, over at that yeah, he does. third? <laughs> is this going to be a StarCraft 1 PVT? <laughs> yes, it is. Okay. Uh, and I think that this is actually a pretty smart idea, because against Command Center first, he'll probably hold on to this. All he has to do is make sure he has, like, three Stalkers, and he'll be able to micro against anything he needs to with that Mothership Core as well. So, look at that. Third Nexus taking that, that little bit of risk, but I think it'll pay off. You know, traditionally, um, if you guys want to old, old facts here, StarCraft 1, uh, Triple Nexus was common against Terran. Mm. Um, it almost always actually to be expected. It was basically one of the best openers you could do. Uh, but that was because Terran would mech. So we don't see it as much here because uh, Terran had to mech in StarCraft 1. And in StarCraft 2, uh, I mean, they pretty much have to go bio. Yeah. So uh, that's one thing we want to watch for is it, with drops and everything else going on, stimming and the speed of that, mm. uh, the man maneuverability, I mean, with the Marines, the Marauders, can uh, Hero actually hold down three mm. bases? Because tech is behind and unit production is behind. Well, he's not just going for three bases. He's going for four before any more gates or any robo. <laughs> so, uh, he gets a wow. Stargate and then gets a Fleet Beacon. Well, I'm like, what is this guy doing? You could see it. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> We'll see with Hero, but you know what? When I, the thing I like about the three Nexus build is, if you choose the right follow-up, then you crush what Terran's doing. But it's really hard to do because you can't tell what Terran's doing, and that's why, like for instance, when Parting kind of 
made this the norm for a little bit way back in Wings of Liberty. He would like follow up with like an 8 8 push. Just keep tearing their base while you get your tech out. Here, obviously, we're not going to see that uh, with that forge already up. And in fact, going right into Twilight. So that's I think that's a good choice. It's going to give him a little bit more maneuverability to try to cover all three bases. Well, we have the. Uh, yeah, you're, I think you're absolutely right, actually. Um, this is going to be a weird game, man. This is just going to be a weird game. We have not casted this many games where they go to the, the quick uh, third Nexus. Yeah, not in a long time. Not a long ass time. So. But that's, that's what makes it exciting. This season we've seen a well, lot of new strats coming out of the woodwork. You know what? Well, one of the things here, um, with all the good Protosses we see, that actually makes them a different from, for instance, like a lot of the uh, Terrans we see in some ways. All the Protosses play completely differently from yes, each other. Yes. Uh, and I'd say that's more so than even like with the Zergs, for instance. Oh, yeah. You have, it's, it's just it's so... Especially like for this early game Zerg or Zerg rushes and all ends, it's mm -hmm. like, well, there's actually it's a we can very list off all amount. the ones they can do. Yeah, yeah, it's much easier to figure out uh, what a Zerg or Terran player is like than a Protoss. Every Protoss has his own style right now, and uh, it's a wild thing. It's just like StarCraft One in that regard that yeah, they really the you can like taste what the which Protoss it is by looking the screen. <laughs> a variety of Protoss flavors. Yes. Mine was tasteless, so uh <laughs> This is like Baskin Robbins. <laughs> we got uh, a bunch of gates coming up here now, uh, and this is going to be a big uh, unit explosion here mm -hmm. with how much you can produce. Well, uh, that's ooh. what happens when you go three Nexus, and it goes uncontested in this case. Charge lot uh, Archon with ten gates. That's huge, especially when Innovation actually started his third command center at a very normal time. Yep. Like right now, Innovation still doesn't know there's a third base. He thinks this is a normal game, and he is in for a huge surprise. This is the one moment, though, where he might be able to get some damage well, done. It looks like it's possible that actually a hero's going to be okay because all the gateways mm. are just now finishing, which means he should get exactly one giant warp yeah. right here. I love this fake losses, by the way. This is so smart. Yeah, that's this is so intelligent. That's pretty awesome. That, you got to hand it to him for that one. But we well, do have this drop going towards the main base. All right, and he's going to come down in here. As you can see, more warp gates completing, but... Uh, will he be able to hold this off? He should get a good warping around here. I'm surprised he's actually not engaging with that. Okay, now he's going to do it. I think he thought it was one medevac or something. And uh oh, taking out the Tasis pile. Now the Artosis pile on goes down. And uh, this is a lot of gates unpowered here. Uh, going to go ahead and snipe that. Uh, <laughs> well, that thing just vaporized yeah. right there, the Colossus. Uh, now backing out. So he'll have to get more of those additional pylons up and running. Meanwhile, another attack over here at the front. I think Hero should be able to hold all this. Yeah, the, the problem is going to be just the maneuverability of this army. Yeah, and those gateways being unpowered for a little bit here, so a few less units. Yeah, he should definitely have more use than oh, he has man, now. Oh, man, he's doing it again. Uh-oh, that is that is a lot of medevacs full of units. When you're going for charge lots like this, one of the problems is you don't have those stalkers to, to shoot down a lot of these medevacs. Nice feedbacks, though. Really well done with those feedbacks. Just the type of move that he needs to help stop this harassment. With only one medevac healing, eventually he will whittle this down. Yeah, and um, it looks like he's going to pick up from here. Go ahead and head out. Probably head back home. I don't think we're going to see any more harass, at least not with those four medevacs, until they get repaired up. Uh, it looks like Innovation, by the way, going to go ahead and get the third base up here. Well, this is this is looking a little bit scary, I think, for Innovation Tasis. Yeah. He hasn't done really that much damage, and even though he's like up in supply at this moment, there's going to be this this slight timing, I think, whoop, where it's a, okay. Well, the all SCV right. pull. Never mind any of that. <laughs> he's going to send all his SCVs here. Uh, he's basically doing this, guys, because he realized how behind he was with that third being up. Mm. The fact they didn't do that much damage. Uh, with good force fields, it's possible that Hero holds this. He is moving out though, which means he's going to be in the open. He does not want to be in the open here. Let's see if he can control all enough. The SCVs have now been spotted, so he knows it's now or never here. Well, here we go. The ghost coming up, and he does get some snipes off. Kills two of the High Templars so far. There are two left. This Will this be able to do it? That's a lot of Zealots warping in. Okay, uh, it looks like the rest of the SCVs are actually now getting there. He's sending those up into the front. Uh, it looks like a lot of the probe cells are going to be taken out. Nice storm there, though. You want to do this rush always before they get Psy Storm. But actually, you know, in this case, is he going to actually yeah. wipe this out? Okay. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah, absolutely. Innovation is pretty good at StarCraft too. No question Apparently. about that. Uh, uh, yeah, so he can kite these zealots, and there's not really enough uh, unit, not enough units in the back, excuse me, uh, to make this effective for the Protoss. The next kid, I think, is actually going to wear out in a second here. Yeah, and, and the next just doesn't die right away. Anyways, uh, I can't is... believe he actually did this. I was 
I was actually thinking that uh, Hero was going to hold. Well, uh, uh, <laughs> you know, those those couple of snipes really down the amount of yeah. Psy Storm that he could use. And without that Psy Storm, this army is really, really frightening. And Hero just doesn't have enough. He's going to lose his third Nexus. He's, he's down a base. He's down supply. And he's going to be down a game. All right. Uh, it's that... It's there's not much else to say with that. Yeah, I mean, the Hero, I love the strategy. I think he executed it really well. But this attack here by Innovation uh, was so tactically perfectly done yeah. that... Um, he just he did everything right. He harassed yeah. just, just enough to slow him down. So that Hero had to stay on the back foot. He had to stay defensive. Then he pulled his SCVs and sniped the Ghost. It was just it was yeah. a beautiful play. All right. Uh, just wiping up the rest of this army. We will be seeing a GG here. Uh, this is not something you can really really recover from. He is still continuing to make Zealots, but as you can see, uh, without anything with the Zealots, the Zealots don't end up really doing much damage. Now the Archon comes in here, but oh so late. Now I think he's... he's yeah, yeah, GG, there it is. He was trying to stay in with that low... Uh